Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you an app that lets you add a ton of different customizable widgets on your iPhone or your iPad. So with iOS 14, Apple lets you use widgets to really customize your home screen. And this app lets you do a lot more than what Apple gives you by default. Now, I've talked about the Widget Smith app on this channel before, but I wanted to make a dedicated video to show you all the different options inside of the app. And as usual, at the end of each video, I'll give the app a rating from one to five. Let's jump into the App Store and open up Widget Smith. Download it if you haven't. I completely uninstalled and reinstalled mine so I could start fresh showing you how to use it. And when you jump in, there's only three simple sections on the bottom. There's the widget section, which we're going to spend most of our time on. And then there's tools and settings, which I'll show you briefly. So under widgets, you have three different widget sizes. There is a small widget, medium size and large. Let me show you that on the home page. I added all the different sizes. The small ones are the squares here and you could have up to six on a page. So you can see I have two different types on the top one of them is from widget smith then you have your medium size that goes across your screen like the center one here and the big ones are these where you could only have one per page so you could customize a page with a big one and a couple of small ones here that's how this one works let's go back to the widget smith app and let me show you how to change any one of these so right here under the one that says small you just have to tap where it says small number one and i'll select it and it brings you to this page where you could customize what the widget looks like. So by default is time or date. You could select it here, right here. Just tap it one more time and you'll get to this menu where you have lots of different options. Let me just show you. You have the time and date options. You could choose photos using custom photos here on your home screen is really interesting. You can have custom text, battery icon, all these different options. If you see the lock icon, it means it requires a paid upgrade and it won't be free. So if you want to look at the paid upgrade, you could do that. Some of these locked ones will require that. And some of them, if you have Apple Watch, for example, or if you connected it to the health and activity, you might see these activity bars like I have here. Under each of one of those, you have different options like font. You could change the font. For example, the one I'm sitting on right now, the one I'm sitting on with the day and the date has different fonts I could choose from. I could go ahead and change the color. So a bunch of different colors to choose from here. I have background colors too. I could go ahead and change those. So this white one and I have borders too if I wanted to select a border. So you have all these different options. So depending on which one you choose here, you may have different styles underneath it. So they may all not have font and color. Some only have one or two different settings underneath that. But that's how you basically pick a widget right here. I'll show you how to add it in a second. And now if I go back, I could just press save or I could tap on top to name this something else. So I could leave it small number one or put my own name and I'll press save right here. Now I could add other small widgets by just pressing add small widget and it's going to give me a small widget number two. So if I want to have multiple different widgets, all different, but the same size, I could have multiple widgets under the same size widget. So small widgets could be five in there, medium size widgets, 10 in there. It doesn't really matter. You could just go ahead and customize things here on this page. So I would spend some time here to get things exactly like you want. Now, let me show you another thing with a medium size widget. I'll select this one. Now I won't tap default widget to change it. I'll leave it as the default widget, but I want to show you add a timed widget. Let me select this to show you what this does. You could actually have your widgets change throughout the day. So if I press the plus sign, I could basically say from 12 a.m. to 2. I want the widget to be this widget. And then I press plus one more time. And now from 2 to 4, I want a different widget. So to change that over here, I'll just press the widget icon. And I want to change it to be something else. Maybe I want it to just be time. During that time, I'll go back. So you could see, you could schedule this whole medium widget to change throughout the day. If I just press plus, I get another two hour increment. I could press that and make that something entirely different. So I'll make this a photo, for example, and I'll go back. So this is really interesting because you could continuously change your home screen throughout the day automatically by just setting up a time widget. Decorate your widgets how you want. Let me just show you the tool section because some of them do require a paid subscription like the weather. 
and you could see some of the pricing here, at least at the time I'm recording this. You could go ahead and change your location here on their world timer. On their health, you could turn on all categories and give it access to health, which is really useful. And you could get the other ones like photo and give it access to photos here where you could add widgets that are photo widgets. I'm gonna show you that in a second as well. Okay, now let me show you how to add the customized widget that we just created on your home screen. So let's go to the home screen. In a second, I'll show you how to add a photo widget, which is one of the requested ways to use this app to add photos as a widget. So as you can see, mine already updated here, but I'm going to actually erase it and show you how to add one. On any page on your home screen, just press and hold on a blank area. I usually just choose the top corner and I'll go ahead and erase this one here and the other one. And to add a widget, you just have to press the plus sign here and it's gonna give you access to this whole menu of widgets. Now, a lot of apps have their own widgets. Spotify has their own widgets, Maps has their own widgets. A lot of ones come from Apple directly. So I'm gonna go down here because I want Widgetsmith app. So you can see all the different apps that have widgets will show up on the bottom. So scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page or search for widgets. You could type in Widgetsmith. On the bottom, I'm gonna choose Widgetsmith. Now I have the three different sizes, small, medium, or large. I have the large on default, so I don't want that. I want the small one that I customized, so I'll select it here and add widget. And it's gonna add it to my homepage and I'm gonna press done. Now, if it chooses the one you didn't customize, if you have multiple widgets for that size, so for the small, I had two different ones. All I have to do is press and hold on it and edit widget. So if I edit widget here, it's right now set to the second one, which I didn't customize, I customized the first one. All I have to do is press this right here and choose small number one, which is the one I customized. Now, if I click away, it should be that style that I chose for that widget. Now, same thing, if I press and hold here to add a medium sized widget, I'll press it, plus sign, go all the way down to the Widget Smith app. And this time, let's do the medium one, select it, add widget, and there it is on top. Now, this is the one that's gonna change based on the time of day. So by default, it's okay. I'm gonna press done right here. If I press and hold on it, I could add widget and change which medium one I chose. In this case, I only have one medium one because I didn't create multiple ones. That's why sometimes it's better to name them so you know what they are. You could go ahead and change them here. Finally, let me show you how to add a photo widget. I'll remove this medium one for now and I'll add a medium photo widget. Let's go back to Widget Smith. Let me go ahead and press add medium widget. We'll add a different one, second one here. Now I'll select the second one and I'll tap it one more time to change it. And this time I'm gonna scroll down to find photo. This is the option I want, photo right here. I'll select it and on the bottom I need to choose selected photos. I'll select this to give me an option to put the photo I want in here. So I'll press choose photo. And I chose a photo from my photo library. Most of the time, especially on the iPhone, it's gonna ask you permission to your photos. So you have to give it permission to see this. So I'm gonna choose that. There's an option here, adjust image alignment, because this is a medium widget. You could press that and actually put this somewhere where it's the best in a medium size widget and go back. So this looks good to me. And now that widget is set. If I go back to the medium size widget two, I could go ahead and rename it. So I'll rename this one photo one and I'll press save. And now my second medium widget is called photo one. Let me go to the home page here, press and hold on a blank space, press the plus sign, go all the way to the bottom widget Smith again, and I'll choose medium and I'll press add widget. Now it chose again the first one as a medium size. So I'll press and hold on it, edit widget. And this time click medium one to change it to photo one and click away. And that should update it to the picture I just chose. Now I'm gonna give it a five out of five from all the widget apps that I've used. This one has been the most improved and the most consistent. The first couple of days I used the app, it did have some bugs, but it looks like they fixed everything. It's been on the top chart of the iOS store for a while now, and it works really, really well. I'm a big fan and I've really customized my whole page using apps widgets that come with different apps like Spotify and using Widget Smith to really decorate things I want. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and I hope to catch you on the next video.